Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Farhad and I have the website called Farhad Yummy. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I bake my zebra cake. It's so easy to make. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that the recipe is already on my website. So please feel free to click the link down in the description box. So in today's video, you need these things right here. You need butter sugar, oil, milk, cocoa, baking powder, eggs. You also need flour, vanilla. Now we're going to start mixing all ingredients. So we're going to start with flour, sugar, butter, milk, oil, vanilla extract. And then let's start mixing it like so. I know some people, they have different ways of mixing this, but this is my way. Now add eggs and then mix it really, really good. Once you have noticed the mixture is mixed really well, that's when we're going to divide it into two bowls. So here we go, guys. Take half and put in one bowl and then leave the other half. Add cocoa in half of baking powder and then mix it really, really good. You want it to be smooth like so. But in this, uh, there's a tip, guys. Uh, if you don't want your mixture to be very dry with cocoa, then you can add milk. For me this time, I don't know what I was thinking, guys. I didn't add enough milk, but it was okay. It worked for me. Most of times when it's too thick, add milk and then add the other half of baking powder in a bowl and mix it like that. Once everything is mixed, that's when we're gonna start making our zebra cake. So you need spoons, two spoons in the cocoa uh, mixture and the other one in a plain mixture. But you can start with any, you know, it doesn't matter. Put in two full spoons at the bottom and then two tablespoons of cocoa mixture like so. I've used two because if you use only one, you don't really see the zebra lines. So if you put two, at least you have enough space in between. So you're getting there, guys. Keep on doing that until you finish everything. That's when you're going to bake it. So once you have baked it, it's going to look like this. If you want to know your cake is well cooked, do it like this. If it comes clean, clear like that, then your cake is well baked. Put it on the wire so it can get cooler before you start cutting it. And then that's it, guys. So let me try to show you in the inside how it looks like. So once you've cut, it looks like this. Can you see that, guys? Yeah. That's it. We have finished making our cake. It's that easy. So if you want to see a full detailed recipe, then please click the link down in the description box. If you want to catch up with me, then please follow me on other social networks. Everywhere I'm using Fur Hot Yummy. If you don't want to miss any video, then please subscribe. And don't forget to share this video anywhere. It can be Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, anywhere. It's okay. Once again, many thanks. I will see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.